Well, hello everyone. I'm Matt Murphy, and I'm here with the wonderful lights. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> so there's a lot of I want to talk about today, and I guess there's a you've had like a huge year, and like yeah, yeah, definitely. And so the first thing I want to talk about is your six song EP that came out a few months ago on Underground Operations, and. The thing I love about your music is kind of the sensibility that you have in combining like beautiful electronic um, instrumentals, but at the same time with heartfelt um, like lyrics. And so, what is your approach really to writing and recording? For me, like starting out a good song, a good song comes down to a good song, mm -hmm. no matter what you put on it. So I always start out writing the core song, whether it's on my piano or on the guitar. Guitar is a main instrument of mine and I get the song down from front to back. So I know that at the core of all good things, there is a good song that it can yeah. be stripped down and played with nothing. And then once that's done, I'm really happy with, with it. And, and a good song for me is something that's a, a killer melody because I think we're all suckers for a good melody. Yeah. So a, a killer melody and honest lyrics. I think I, I can't sing someone that, something that someone else writes because I don't feel honest about it then. It has to be something mm -hmm. that comes from my own heart and from my own experience and emotions. So. Um, honest lyrics, a killer melody, and a good song structure, once you have that down, and then I take that to the studio, and that's when the fun part begins, and that's the adding all the different layers of keyboards and synths and effects and drums and laser gun samples <laughs> on top of it, and which, which, make, which make it my sound, but at the core of it all, there's, there's a solid song, and that's, I think that's what will stand the test of time, hopefully. Absolutely, because I find it's weird. When I try to describe, I guess, electronic music to my friends, I have to kind of say that aggressive club music. And in some, in yeah. some respects, I think it's real melody driven electronica. Mm, you have electronica elements to your music, but at the same time, stripped down to the core, like you said a second ago, it has to be a good song no matter what, mm -hmm. on an acoustic guitar or a piano. And so, when was it that you said to yourself, this is how I want my music to be heard, in this sort of way of electronica elements? There was actually a specific moment. Really? That was um, two years ago in February mm -hmm. when I was on a writing trip. This was before I moved to Toronto out on my own. And I was sitting in my hotel room. It was Valentine's Day. I was all alone. Really? Yeah, I was sad. It was like cold. Mm -hmm. And my arms were cold. And it was in February. So February Air <laughs> was written on the acoustic guitar. And, and I, I brought that to the, I thought that was something I was really happy with. And I brought it to the studio the next day. I was working with my friend Dwayne. And, um, we, we jammed out the song, we finished it up, and we were really happy with it. And then I was like, I'm going to try something different. I'm, let's not do anything organic in this song. Because mm. at that point, I had been everywhere in music. I'd been in a metal band. I was doing pop punk band. I was in really? yeah, I was <laughs> guitar player in a metal band. <laughs> um, Sweet. And then I, w I almost released an like, uh, acoustic album when I was 15. You know, I had been everywhere. And so finally, and I was being super inspired by Bjork and everything, and all these really cool electro sounds, and I thought, Let's do this song without any acoustic elements and see how it turns out. So I started tampering around the sounds on my keyboard, and the intro, like, yeah. you know, like the little, we got called it like the cat synth. Like <laughs> and I was like, that's awesome. So that was the first part, played it all, and then added the second layer, and everything just started happening organically with non organic instruments. <laughs> it was all synthetic yeah. instruments. And then we added drum loops on it, and it was just, I'm like, this is it. That was the moment. And so February Air was the one that started, and then after that, it was just, writing and writing and writing mm. and getting the cream of the crop of the good songs. And that's why I only released an EP, because I thought, why well, release an album, why well, try to fill up an album if you just get the best of the best and then put that out. Well, that's know. perfect. You know, there's always a couple songs in an album you don't really like anyway, so it's just like, that's I'm true. trying to put out six that I love. And so how many songs did you end up, I guess, writing and recording before you decide to pick and choose the ones After the sound like? was created? Yeah. Probably a good, like, 30. Really? Yeah, and at so least. There's all these B-sides out there. Oh, yeah, somewhere, lurking, hopefully <laughs> deleted. <laughs> oh, but that's amazing, though. It's nice to know, because when I went online, I searched, um, like, in LimeWire. I'm sorry. I bought <laughs> it's your okay. album. It's okay. But, um, it's okay to lurk, LimeWire. Uh, <laughs> but uh, at the same time, I found all these other songs, and I was like, oh, wait a second. Like, I was listening to them, and I was like, these are great songs. And so I was wondering why they never ended up on the record. But. They're, um... It was either, there's one lurking around called Casanova, and yeah. I'm probably going to play that one tonight. Um, and they're, they're good songs, but there's there's always something that I, I can mm. feel it when a song is is a good representation of everything that I am. And some of the stuff that didn't make the EP is not necessarily going to make the EP, because it's just not 100% rep representation. It doesn't mean it's a bad song. It's just I picked the ones that I think are perfect, and I have a good gut sensation oh, about that. That's amazing. And honestly, like... 
every song I can see as like a hit. It's weird. Like, I, <laughs> Thank I listen you. to I, I'll, It's strange. Usually what What's I'll your favorite do, one? Ice. Ice. Yes. yes. You're going to love the video for it. <laughs> oh, that's awesome. So much fun. Definitely. It was weird because I had listened to all the ones on MySpace and um, I was like, I love all these. But then um, I m remember like months ago you'd said. I hoarded oh, that one away. I kept that one away yeah. until you actually get that, that the EP. You said like, this is the secret song that I really like that I haven't shown to anyone. And then I listened and I was like, well, that's my favorite. Yeah. I love that one. That was so much fun. That's so good. Um,